Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. Welcome back, people. It's the Critic Corp. I am Toke. This is my review today on the highly anticipated sci-fi film Dune Part 2. Um, I'm just going to let you guys know now this is a spoiler talk. So if you don't want things ruined, I advise you to exit this video right now. And also, oh, I do apologize for some of you people if you wanted to see me wear the mask. And while I talked through this whole review that's in the cover, um, it, it probably, my, the sound wouldn't, uh, my voice, you, you got, it, it probably would have been very hard for you guys to understand me with the mask on, so, took it off, but, um, yeah, man, this, this film was fucking phenomenal, it's great, um. Shout out to the actors, they all delivered, the actors and actresses, they all delivered, um, the fucking, the, uh, shout out to Greg Frazier for the visuals and the, the uh, you know, as far as this, the cinema, cinematography and whatnot, um, fucking, all around, man, it was just pure excellence from start to end, um, you know, obviously, if you guys don't know what the fuck Dune even is, please go watch part one before you watch part two, and so on, you know, um, it is, this, this franchise is, I could see it having a run, a long run, just like, um, you know, like Harry Potter, or Lord of the Rings, or fucking Star Wars or whatnot, but, um, yeah, this, this shit's definitely a heater, man, it's probably gonna be in the category with GOAT movies, you know, greatest of all time, um, up there in, in the listing with those type of movies and whatnot, that whole discussion, um, you know, some may, some may beg differ, but, you know, to each their own, to each their motherfucking own, but, uh, yeah, let's get into this shit, man, um, where do I begin, like, it, it was a lot, it was a lot to intake, you know, to take in, and so, so short of time, I feel like, I feel like this movie should have been, um, three and a half hours, I feel like it was some, some scenes, some scenes, some aspects of scenes were shortened, um, but overall, like, it's still, you know, it's still, it's still delivered, and the pacing was great, um, you know, it wasn't a moment, a dull moment, um, it was, it was just fucking, like, just wow, bro, just wow, like, I really don't know what else to say, like, um, even, like, the, the little side characters, like, Stilgar, he, Stilgar, he, he was fucking a fool, but he was, you know, he was great, he was great, um, fucking, um, what, the Reverend Mother, um, the Reverend Mother Moham, you know, she was, she was in it for bits and pieces, she was fucking still lethal looking and whatnot, um, shit, fuck it, even in the new characters, I feel like they sidelined, um, some of the newer characters and whatnot, as far as, like, Austin Butler, um, as, um, Baron, you know, uh, Fayad, Fayad, uh, Baron, Baron's nephew, uh, Shaddam, Emperor Shaddam, or Shaddam, uh, you know, Christopher Walken's character, uh, even Princess, uh, Arilon, um, Florence, Florence Pugh's, uh, character, um, I feel like they focused the first, uh, hour of the movie, maybe 45 minutes to an hour, uh, centered it around, um, Zendaya and, uh, Timothy's character, fucking Paul and, uh, Chani, 
and their whole little love development relationship that they, uh, you know, established. And, um, you know, just, like, had everything else minor to that. Um, they Vladimir Byrne didn't even have that much screen time in this shit. And he got murked off. Like, damn. Even Austin Butler's character got, you know, got murked off. He got, he got introduced and murked off within the same movie. Like, it was wild. It was wild. That, that really, that right there really, um, made it clear to me that this, this, this shit has just begun, bro. We haven't even cracked the surface of this shit. Like, it's still more to come. It's, it's definitely, it's definitely about to open up and then expand more and more. Like, this, this, this movie, we, we, we got, a, a lot of things got exposed, but at the same time, I feel like it was, um, you know, it was shortened. You know, they, they, they're saving it for further down the line. Um... They were, it was just brief. Some shit was brief. Especially, like, um, the whole lady, uh, Jessica being, you know, the daughter of, uh, Vladimir Baron, and then, you know, um, just fucking being Pa and them all, I mean, blood related, like, that, that was... That was briefly, you know, exposed. They need, they need, they they need to give us the whole background on that for real, for real. Um, you know, as to why the Reverend Mother, uh, Superior Reverend, Reverend Mother, uh, wanted, cause she she was the one who was behind the assassination of House of Trades. And I I I feel like they they said a little bit. They discussed it a little bit, why she did it, but I really, I feel like it's more to it, of why, really why she did that shit, um, you know, but, yeah, man, it's, this movie's a fucking lot, it's a lot, that's why I said, like, you need to see this shit, like, at least three times to fully, um, grasp everything that went down, um, you know, because that's the movie, like I said, the movie picks up and picks up and picks up and picks up. You're, you're, you're still being left back and confused and just shot by the earlier scenes. And this shit's just, just unraveling and unraveling and it's like, fuck, fuck, this shit's about to end now. Looking, you know, I, I was looking at my phone like, damn, this shit, we got, I got like 20 minutes left, and I feel like this shit just started. Like, this, this shit, it was, it was fucking crazy, bro. It was fucking crazy. Um, you know, it was dope to seeing, uh, fucking Paul develop that confidence in himself over the, um, because you know, over the course of the movie, you can see how unsure he was of himself and becoming, uh, you know, Mahadi, the uh, the prophecy, the legacy that the Furman people spoke of and whatnot. Um, but once he, once he, uh, once he obtained that water of life and drunk that shit, man, he 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 earned his uh, he earned his stripes. Especially with me, like this man silenced the uh, the superior reverend, uh, reverend mother, with ease, made her ass shook, made her ass. She was looking shook, boy. Oh my god! And like the way it ended is 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 looking like Paul is really about to be a force to be reckoned with. But along that too, on a side note, I feel like. His mother, Lady Jessica, is also going to be a a big um, a big a big problem factor in 
uh, as long as over the course of the um, franchise, you know, develops. Because she became the reverend mother of uh, Atrakis, you know, the, the, the sand planet for the firm people. And so she, she was the first to, she the one who finessed Paul into drinking it. She set the whole thing up. But she was the first one to initially um, get introduced to the water of life. And it opened her mind, baby. She, she, oh my God, she sees it all now. She sees it all. Everything is clear now. Like, And mind you, she's pregnant. So for her to drink that shit, that was fucking just... Risking the biscuit for her, let alone, and the baby. Like, cause this is poison. It's fucking poison, bro. It's fucking poison. Straight up, they tell her as You gonna see some shit that you don't wanna see, and you may die. <laughs> like, I'm sitting there the whole time I'm thinking, like, what the fuck's about to happen to the baby? Like, hold on. They telling her, she a witch. She one of the witches or whatever. They supposed to be, you know, high mighty. They telling her she may not survive. And then for her to go and force it upon her son that barely, um, barely survived the, the bots test from the uh, superior mother. Man, she, yeah, uh, she on some shit. She is plotting hard to conquer it all from the north to the south of the firm people to the, the great houses, everything. She is trying to be in power, power, like, fuck. <laughs> yeah, that's, some sh that's, man, her ass is about to be on some shit in these next few movies, I swear to it. Even Paul, he he's seeing visions of people... Falling, you know, falling to their demise at the bottom of her feet. Like, man. This movie, bro. <laughs> I'm just, just thinking about it, bro. I can't fucking wait to see this shit Thursday again. Oh, my God, bro. This this is for sure. For sure. A movie you guys cannot miss. Like, and you can't let it come, just wait and let it come to a streaming service. It has, it needs to be seen on the big screen, fucking IMAX, whatever, bro, Dolby. It just needs to be seen at its fullest potential. Because this shit is fucking immaculate, bro. <laughs> fucking immaculate. And I know, and then they, the, like, I, like I said, the way they ended it. I believe it's supposed to be a holy war or something that's going to start because Paul is choosing, you know, to go to war with the with the other houses because they they won't they refuse to hear his reasoning on you know on the on the way he went about on certain things and it's just yeah yeah man this it this. Is, Dune has a lot in store for us. I can fucking already foresee it. I can already foresee it, bro. This shit was fucking wild. It was fucking wild. Just outstanding, man. Fucking outstanding. I, like I said, from the from the visuals to the acting to the holds written script, it was a one, a one, a one. I I give this bitch. A fucking A plus 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 like <laughs> that shit's oh my god. There you have it guys. Um you know it's um it is most definitely going to be the movie of the year. That's all I gotta say. Fucking like and subscribe. Support the motherfucking corp. Um, leave some comments. Let me know what you guys thought about this movie. Um, fucking. And I'll be back later with uh, another review on 
um, that new Walking Dead series with uh, Michonne and Rick. So um, stay tuned for that. And um, so be it. Toodles.